Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to video 2 from the playlist, playlist to watch if you're seeking one-on-one -on -one deliverance with Pastor Nate. This is breaking down financial strongholds and receiving God's blessings for your life. Okay, so as we discussed briefly in video 1, if you do desire to give but feel bound up by the enemy and unable to generate a desire to give, which is very common, folks. We've learned this. Our Father actually sent me the prayer that you're going to pray. Desire to give, then please visit our blog and pray the prayer of financial blessing and financial strongholds. It's on the blog on www.deliverancerevolution.org. Be aware, if you're unemployed, homeless, consider yourself indigent, then please contact Pastor Nate make sure I'm aware of your situation. You can contact me direct by clicking the blue button at the Contact Us button on www.deliverancerevolution.org. Okay, this prayer will assist that you're going to pray in breaking any financial strongholds that would cause you not to want to give, okay? Which in turn blocks your blessings from the Lord, okay? This is why you often see folks who do not give as having poor finances and constantly in a mess. They don't know and understand what the Lord says about giving. So a lot of you come and you receive a major uh, miracle at first, and sometimes I'm just overwhelmed with how much God loves you, and then you all don't wonder why you get the rest of the way free. Well, at that point, with some of you, I've got about eight or ten hours invested in you. You hadn't mentioned, how do I live? How does my wife live? How's she doing? You know, how do I pay the bills? How do I pay the rent? You don't ask a single question. You don't ask one question. All you talk about is how you want to get free, how you want to get free, how you want to get free. Now, I'm not saying this to be ugly. I'm trying to explain that there's a God up there. He's real. He sees and watch every bit of this. And y'all just think he doesn't care or like somehow he sees everything from just your end that just want to get free. Nothing's my fault. Want to get free. Nothing's my fault. I didn't do this. This came down through somebody else. That's how it comes across. You've never really given anything to anybody. You just take and take and take, but you wonder the shape you're in. If you're listening to this, most likely I've got your email and I sent you a letter with the Kenyan children with jiggers in their feet. Only four people clicked on the blog I wrote up. I spent a whole day on it, put a lot of work into it in pictures, and only one person gave $60, and thank you to him very much. And what's interesting is he has the Holy Spirit. So that's what I'm seeing is the common denominator, folks. Most of you that are in pretty good bondage just don't have the Holy Spirit. You may think you do, but then you have to ask yourself, why would you not want to give or contribute to your own deliverance knowing? And this is what you'll see when you go to the front of the website. You're going to see the appreciation gift button. Go in there, and at the bottom, you're going to see the verses. And I want you to see things in there where Paul talks about how God loves a cheerful giver. So that's what I'm saying. Don't go over there and just give 10 or $20 like it's your duty. It doesn't do anybody any good. A couple of y'all did that recently. I just, if I could give it back to you, I would. You know, it's just offensive to what he's doing for you guys. Offensive. He sees that. What do you think he thinks? Do you think he's sitting there going, oh, I understand. You smoked all your money on crack and spent it on whores. Or whatever the case, whatever the addiction is. You know, um, I understand his situation. Most every one of you are in the situation you're in by pure selfishness. Okay? Now, I have a right to be able to say this because I've worked with hundreds of you, and I think I love some of you more than you love yourselves. And I've demonstrated it. I've walked it out in my faith. I've put one foot in front of the other. i funneled down love to you from the kingdom. And I'll continue to, but the one thing that's going to stop is we are going to stop working with people that are just bound up in selfish and self-centeredness and not giving and not generous and not wanting to change or do anything about it. That's what we're stopping. So if you're watching this and I've already been working with you and you haven't heard from me again, that's why. Because you haven't given one dime. You haven't mentioned it. You're just taking, taking, and taking. You're not going to get free anyway. Okay? You're not going to get free anyway with that type of attitude. I'd be amazed if I was wrong. 
If so, please write me a testimony and send it to me. Okay, I'll take your word for it even. All right, let's move on. So, you may find out what the Lord says about giving by visiting the blue appreciation gift button on the front of every page of the website. It says appreciation gift. Please note the word of God is very clear about those who do not tithe or give. Not tithing is viewed by the Lord as robbing me of tithes and offerings. He says it. Plain and simple. He is very cut and dry about it. Yet on the other hand, he says in Luke 6.38, Give to others and you will receive. You will be given much. It will be poured into your hands, more than you can hold. You will be given so much that it will spill into your lap. The way you give to others is the way God will give to you. You see what I'm saying, folks? That's why I want you to go to the appreciation gift and read the verses. It's educational. Now here's a quick test. Evaluate comes to mind when I suggest contributing a love offering to the ministry as a way of showing love and appreciation for the amazing deliverance and healing you're going to be receiving through, you guessed it, my boss, relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, if you immediately think, hey, wait a minute, I thought these services were free. And then you naturally think, I can't afford to give anything anyway. Then I need you to proceed immediately to the blog on www.deliverancerevolution.org and pray the prayer on the blog for financial curse breaking, okay? To release you. All right? Destroy these financial strongholds. Seriously, folks, I need you to do this is we have to break this mindset off of you. With all the love and respect I can muster, there's something wrong with not wanting to contribute to your own deliverance from something as major as demonic. I don't mean to laugh at you, but I don't understand. First off, it's a life and death situation. And second, a psychiatrist would charge you approximately $1,200 or more for an initial diagnostics, which would yield you nothing. Because all a psychiatrist can do to treat you for the demonic is dope you up with heavy medication, slap a few labels on you. I mean, you may get some social security with a few labels, but I mean, if that's what you want, then that's a whole nother ball game. The entire process costs money all the way through it. At a minimum, you would spend three to 5,000 a year on the office visits and counseling, which would yield you little to no results. And then there's the cost of the actual meds. So depending on how good your insurance is and how long it lasts, you know, and it holds out, assuming it does, the whole, how much the whole ordeal would cost you. One thing's for sure, though. You'd be in the same shape, if not worse, a year from now as you are today than when you started because that's how most people are. So I suspect a good percentage of you have already been this route, and that is why you're here. So don't come over here and insult Jesus and God when they do a major healing and deliverance on you off of 10 or 20 or $30. I mean, give, give $50 a month. Give $100 a month. Give 10% of your income. You know, I told a guy the other day who had a major deliverance and, you know, he's got a big union job and all that stuff, and he never offered to give anything, and I was kind of jumping on him, and he said, uh, well, I was going to see how it worked. Everybody makes that same excuse, folks. Then, then here's the solution to that. Go, stop right now. Go to the list that says Real Gut Playlist, sorry, on the YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash freedom from demons. It's, it's a playlist, or maybe it's on the front, Real Demons Speaking Recorded Deliverance Sessions. And watch the videos of Pastor Nate and Lord Jesus doing their thing and make sure I know what I'm doing. Okay? You'll see that I know what I'm doing. You don't need to wait. That's an excuse. He made that up on the fly. That's an excuse. I know what I'm doing. Many people I've worked with said the same thing, and many of them get delivered and then split. Now, I'm sure they've lost it. Most of them are private mental institutions or on the street. But they're locked down in pride by the demonic, and they're not going to call and say, man, I juked you, I lied to you, and blah, blah, blah. So if you're going to, you know, come to the Lord, don't look at it as a cheap solution. Look at it as the best solution and lasting solution, but honor your God. Remember, I have a relationship with him. I'm not God, but he loves me. He knows me. He knows I'm pouring my heart into this. He gave me permission to do this full time. I was having to get a job to support you guys. 
And he said, if you're ready to surrender everything to me, I'm going to ministry full time. I said, praise the Lord. You know I am, Papa. So look, folks. I'm not bawling you out. I'm being truthful with you. Okay? Now I'm going to get you video three and four probably. Probably going to be two more. But this is the last of video two. So what are you doing? All right, you're going to the blog. www.deliveranterevolution.org The blog's a tab up top, far right. And there's a prayer there on financial... Oh, goodness. Hold on one second. Let me just pull it up real quick. Well, it probably would take too long. Uh, financial uh, curse breaking, financial prayer. Yeah. Breaking strongholds, financial prayer. Okay? So you want to do that prayer. All right? The next thing you want to do, go to the appreciation gift. There's verses down at the bottom. Okay? Verses down at the bottom. I want you to study what the Word of God says. Now, when you go to the blog, the first thing you see is the Kenyan orphans need help. It wouldn't hurt you to read that and scan through it. That was ridiculous. Only four people clicked. Only one gave $60, which was great that he did that. It's really upsetting. Financial warfare prayer is what it's called. It's the second one down. I'll also put this, the link to that in the description. Financial warfare prayer in the description of this video, okay? And then I want you to go to the appreciation gift button, which is on every single page. And I want you to look at the scriptures at the bottom on giving, okay, folks? Now, I love you. I promise you I do. I wouldn't have been doing this for so long, okay, for free. You know, it's cost me everything worldly. It really has. But I love the Lord and I love you. He's an amazing God. Funneling that love down from heaven to you. Sometimes it's a little bit of tough love. Okay? I love you. Have you a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Keep doing videos. Keep doing the prayers. And you'll be getting deliverance with Pastor Nate one-on-one -on -one soon. Okay? Love you. Bye-bye.